Yeah. There we go. Uh, nice. uh, back now, let's. Uh, yeah. Rouse it up the. This goes to just me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ask Wes if he can make the broadcast live. I was hoping to see the brackets as they go. Oh, I thought he did that. Um, yeah, I can get Wes to do that. Um, Ashley, just. Um. I need to figure out which. Oh, yeah, I did. I did swap these, so I just need to swap the controllers. And I will go talk to Wes about that right now. Might have reversed the controllers wrong. Whatever. Oh, it's not residents. Oh, uh, doctor. I'll have to wait until one of them's dead and one of them's recovering. Find out which one. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Wait a minute. I'll go talk to the West right now. Alright, so this one is actually definitely like you. I'm pretty sure this is correct now. Anyway, um, I will uh, go do the bracket thing. Uh, so I just gotta find the right website for it. Um, or find the right setting for it. Uh, so I will be silent for a bit as I log into Smash.gg. If I'm correct, everything should be visible now. Um, uh, please tell me if that's wrong, Ashley, um, and then I can get it fixed. Okay, yeah, the controllers are definitely on the right spot now. We're good for that. Um, so, um, we got a snake and a mess. And I'm not sure who won game one, so I was messing around with Smash.gg. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we, we just forgot. Um, the start of this day was a little hectic because I was running around doing a bunch of setup stuff. Um, but we're good now. Um, also, I made Chomo agree that I should have beat him in Smash 4. Um, so that's a thing. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, so S Snake will obviously just tr be tr constantly trying to um, get stickies and then just set up for easy kills with that. Um, 
generally speaking, um, he is very good at getting stickies and doing a lot of um, jab reset type stuff with his um, uh, sleep dart, um, down throw, and uh, jabs and stuff like that. And he has gotten a good 70% on people just from doing one down throw and doing a lot of jab reset stuff with um, getting them stuck and then going for the kill with it. But Dang, this is actually a lot closer than I thought, because I, th I figured Kia would have a pretty good advantage against um, Isaac. But it is going to be last stock situation, and just going to see who can get the first um, combo set up to just finish each other off, um, but Isaac does not seem to pay attention really to where the um, snake's down smash is, which is one of the things that you should generally do, because, um, like, I figured with um, Ness's forward throw and with his down throw, you could set, um, put, you could throw snake into it, uh, into the sleep dirt pretty easily, uh, or not, uh, into the landmine pretty easily, and uh, use it against him, but damn. That is 1-1 one, one by the looks of it, considering that they're not stopping play. So we'll be going to a game 3 against with these two. Oh no, never mind. Oh, they're switching ports. So we have to switch that. Oh, and one of them has... Slight, there we go. Slight input issue. Because as soon as Snake loses, he technically has the right to switch ports for, with you and make it so that he has the um, one closer to four. He has the four priority. Okay, that is a very quick setup just to an immediate 63%, just using Bomb and Isaac using side B to blow it up, like drifting slightly too close and getting hit by the blast. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really, from the, what I've seen from this game, or from the last game mainly, and a little bit of this, he does not know how to deal with the landmines properly and just can't destroy them properly. Um, granted, I don't think Ness really has the tools to do it, other than side B would almost be the best bet to destroy it, just because he has no nice disjoints that can um, easily remove them. Um, but it's just, he needs to seem to learn how to avoid them or to throw Snake into them, instead of just trying to destroy them always, because if they hit Snake, you can just use them to your own advantage, but ends up getting a nice combo into just a nice back throw to get the kill back, so it's back to even. And now we'll just see if um, which side can start anything to get a nice string. Uh, luckily, um, Isaac is staying in the air for the most part, so he's um, able to avoid the sleep dart um, effects, but Kia using his like roll animation to set off the bomb to stop Isaac's uh, up B, which is scarily impressive. So I would never have thought of to do something like that. And there he goes using the land, using a down air into it. Uh, but now we have. Oh, that is very close to death. I would have figured it would have killed him. And then... Yeah. Yep. Just getting a nice and a quick stick and into just a very easy kill. As soon as the stick's down, he will go for it. We'll see if Isaac can do a nice combo to kill um, Kia pretty quickly here. But forgetting the landmines there by looks of it. So I don't think you would purposely set that one off. Oh, and Kia missing the tech to stall forever and recover. Uh, I've actually rare. I've never seen Kia 
missed that attack uh, when he's using his own landmines, which... Yeah. Oh, that was a nice meteor cancel to save him from the nest down there. And using the grenade and the landmine to set it up, tossing the grenade up so that it would land right where the landmine is, around when Ness was uh, going above it. But they are both pretty much one kill confirm. That got it. Dang. Nicely done to Isaac to beat Kia. I'm gonna go see if who's playing next, or if I'm playing next. That's enough?